so before we continue let's just copy this one so these are from my old uh, project so basically this is for the dialogue that we are going to use so it's the jQuery and here we have the bootstrap dialogue and then on the top let's paste the dialogue style so just pause the video and then download them or link them directly so let's continue so let's show the bootstrap or the dialogue so let's check so here it's, as you can see it is showing the dialogue so let's set the title to add order add to order then type so let's set the type to a default so refresh uh, as you can see showing white so it's the default color So right now let's set the message or the body of the dialogue. So let's just move this here. Um, also here, um, let's also check if the quantity uh, is not inputted or it is set to empty zero will throw an error so here let's write the dialog form so inside will create a header something so going to add the product info so since we can get the product info we can use the name of property then below we'll have the input so this is where we type in the quantity that we want to order so let's have the placeholder enter quantity and then so here is just arrange them so let's add a class called form control so it's 100% uh, width so there's an error of our code so let's um, set the dialog form HTML as you can see we have the HTML inside the dialog so next is let's add style to uh, this product info so I'm just going to do it first here inside the console let's increase the font size Um, let's make it bold so let's add a class then also let's create a span so let's also show the price of the the product so let's get it from the product info and the price properties so let's go to our style.css then grab this style and paste fresh so here as you can see let's float to add this on 
float right then add that class to the span so it's a fresh let's make the size smaller then let's set the color to maybe light gray This one looks better, so let's grab and paste it. This looks good. So now let's add the max or the minimum value of 1 so we don't enter a negative number or 0. Then here, let's add the ID order QTY. Then here, let's set the callback function. So once we add the order, click the add order. So here, let's get the ordered quantity uh, use that order QTY ID so let's try to log let's refresh okay so as you can see we need to set the value so it's empty one it's 32 so it's working fine Now let's parse this one to be an integer. So okay, so that's not a number. This looks good. Uh, next is let's try to add an if statement. So if it is not a number, then we throw an error so if order is equals to this none then let's just return false c uh, return one two three hmm sorry Fresh again. So this does not work. Uh -huh. Do this function is none. So let's check if number is none, and it will return. It's just alert high to check so this works so inside let's return udf so that won't prevent closing the dialog let's just return an undeclared variable so here what we're going to do is we set our show and dialog an alert an error dialog so here the message will be please type your order quantity so it should be placed on the tab so if we click ok as you can see please type the order quantity this should be danger let's refresh set the header uh, or the title let's set uh, this one to error this one let's set the error header title so this looks good So 
here let's add a comment so if user did not input the quantity or it's empty the next to here is if the ordered quantity is greater than the current stack of the products uh, so here uh, as you can see we have the product info we can use the product info and type the stack property so let's refresh let's try that higher volume so the order is undefined so this one so this should be the order quantity so on the two ones as you can see we should remove this uh, quantity is higher than the current stack so let's try again and also let's just um, echo or show the the current stack of the product so let's start in many variable then here let's update then also the uh, let's just remove this one and also here then let's refresh as you can see it returns the number of stack and returns this error so let's try again 114 so so now here let's just create a function so basically we'll store all these error messages inside a single function and then we'll just send the message inside so here let's call that function so dialog error and then send the message as an argument let's copy this one and then paste so code looks nice let's refresh and then see as you can see Let's try the other error so it looks good now let's try to set the tree and it's you can see it's working fine so now we have these error handlers so once everything is all set or correct then let's call this function add to order now let's pass the PID maybe the well we can just use the product info the, the ordered quantity then here let's create that function so let's just so inside this function um Let's just data on to this. We'll add this to the order list table. Then refresh um, the products so variables so especially this stack of the uh, the product which you. Uh, so every time we add that product to our order list then it, that quantity will be removed from the current stack so inside this dialog or also inside this code uh, before we add or load add the item to the 
order this let's just check first if our current stack is not zero so if it's zero then we'll uh, disable the adding to the order so here if current stack equals zero then let's throw an error and then let's try to update the message so product selected is currently out of borders now let's refresh let's so right now we have 13 stack so let's just set it to zero so as you can see if I click it it turns that error let's set it back to one let's add one or higher number let's see it throws an error one looks good so in our next video we're going to add more functions and add the logic for the add to order uh, function